قديش يعني؟ كمل دقيقة والله؟ اوكي وات تايم از ات ناو؟ 57 اوكي Escalator problems, I see. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good to see you. going to start in Arabic, then I will flip to English. Okay? Huh? Hmm. Okay, I'll consider that. Well, uh, I want to welcome all of you and thank you for being with us. Uh, today is our national day, uh, Independence Day for the State of Palestine. In my speech in the fourth committee just uh, 40 minutes ago, I started my statement by referring to our national day. And I said, while we are celebrating, نظرا لهذا العدوان الآثم 34 شهيدا من ضمنهم ثمانية أطفال وكذلك عائلة عائلة السواركة التي تم إبادة ثمانية أفراد منها بما فيهم الأطفال نحن ندين هذا العدوان بأشد العبارات ونطالب وقفه فورا ونطالب المجتمع الدولي وخاصة مجلس الأمن أن يتحمل مسؤوليته في هذا الشأن وأن يوقف هذا العدوان وأن يلاحق المجرمين الذين ارتكبوا هذه الجريمة في هذا الإطار نشكر الجميع الذين دعوا إلى تحقيقات شفافة في هذه الجريمة وأن يلاحق المجرمين الإسرائيليين الذين ارتكبوها وأن يواجهوا العدالة وبعد ذلك تكلمت عن النتائج التاريخية للتصويت في اللجنة الرابعة حول وكالة غوث وتشغيل اللاجئين الفلسطينيين الأنوروة التي لم يسبق في أي فترة في الماضي أن أنه كان حجم المتبنيين لمشاريع القرارات بهذا الحجم الهائل الذي تم إزاء قرارات اللجنة الرابعة والتصويتات كانت تصويتات استثنائية حيث أن قرار تجديد ولاية الأنوروا لثلاثة سنوات أخرى حظي ب 170 صوتا مقابل صوتين ضده وقبل ثلاثة سنوات عندما تم تجديد ولاية الأنوروا كان التصويت لصالح التجديد 161 صوتا وبقية القرارات الأخرى المتعلقة بالأنوروا والممارسات الإسرائيلية حظيت بمزيد من الأصوات تتراوح ما بين أقل شيء ثلاثة أو أربع أصوات إلى تسعة أصوات إيجابا وهذا الرد الهائل الذي سطره المجتمع الدولي دفاعا عن الأنروة جاء ردا للذين يحاولوا يائسين أن يحجموا هذه الوكالة ومن ثم يحلموا بأنهم بذلك يستطيعوا أن يلغوا قضية اللاجئين فهذا الرد التاريخي يؤكد على أن المجتمع الدولي متمسك بالأنروا متمسك بقضية اللاجئين الفلسطينيين ولن يتخلى عنهم ونحن نشكر المجتمع الدولي وكل الدول وكل الذين تفاوضوا معنا للتوصل إلى هذا الرقم الهائل من الدعم والإسناد وأنا عندما كانت كنت أسأل هل ستتمكنوا من المحافظة على الأصوات في دعم تفويض الأنروا؟ قلت لهم لننتظر لنرى الفعل يتكلم عن حاله 
والفعل قبل ساعة تكلم عن حاله بهذا التصويت التاريخي وفي هذا الإطار أود أن أشكر فريقي وزميلاتي وزملائي الذين تفانوا بشكل هائل في العمل والاتصال بالجميع والتفاوض مع كل الأطراف للوصول إلى هذه الأرقام التي نعتز ونفتخر فيها وأنا أشكر هذا الفريق المتفاني في مصلحة فلسطين ودفاعا عن هذه القضايا الهامة وعلى الرأس منها تجديد ولاية الأنروا لثلاثة سنوات أخرى وكذلك قلت في الاجتماع أننا نشكر السيد بريرك كرامبل الذي أزيح من منصبه أو استقال لأنه كان يدافع بشكل مبدئي عن الأنروا وعن ولايتها ونحن نشكره على خدماته وعلى موقفه وأنا هنا باسم الشعب الفلسطيني وقيادته أشكر السيد بيير كرامبل على هذا الموقف النبيل وهو لاقى ما لاقه نظرا لمواقفه المبدئية ومواقفه الحازمة النابعة من الدفاع عن القانون الدولي والأنروا واللاجئين الفلسطينيين Let me say a few things in English. Uh, as I started, I said, today is our national day. And in my speech in the fourth committee, I referred to while we celebrate our national day, we bury our martyrs, the civilians, the 34 of them, the eight children among them, and the uh, slaughtering of a whole family, eight of them, including few children that were killed by the Israeli occupying forces during this current aggression which we condemned, and we demand that it should be stopped immediately, and we demand from the international community, especially the Security Council, to condemn this aggression and to uh, stop it and to shoulder its responsibility in connection with international peace and security. We are grateful to countries and parties that called for an ind independent, transparent investigation on this crime and to hold in an accountable way, the criminals who have committed this crime and to bring them to justice from the Israeli side. Today was a historic day in the Fourth Committee in which we've seen the largest number ever of countries co-sponsoring the resolutions there, especially to UNRWA. And today, we've seen historic numbers in the Fourth Committee of voting in favor of UNRWA's resolutions and other resolutions in the Fourth Committee, especially the resolution to renew the mandate of UNRWA for three years. 170 countries voted in favor three years ago. It received 161 votes. Only two voted against it, and I'm sure that you know who are the two. They are not listening to this massive, powerful statement from the international community that UNRWA is something good. It is one of the successful stories of the United Nations and the international community is not about to abandon it. It is supporting it, and they did through the voting, and they will also keep you know, funding it until there is a just solution to the question of the Palestine refugees on the basis of relevant UN resolution. We are grateful for this massive, powerful message for those cynicals who thought that we will not be able to renew the mandate with the same number of votes we did and we did it with a large number, larger than before. In this connection, my team in the mission of the United, of, of the uh, Palestine mission to the UN, played a remarkable role in lobbying everyone, in contacting everyone, in negotiating with everyone, and mobilizing everyone, and convincing everyone to the effect of this result. I am proud of them. They are true soldiers of the state of Palestine. These are the things that I wanted to share with you. Please give me a few questions, maybe two in Arabic and two in English, and we call it quit. For those who are watching us in Palestine, because I understand it is this uh, press conference is being transmitted live, I salute you and congratulations on our National Day. The lady. Uh, thank you, Ambassador. Tissam Azim from Al Arab Al Jadid newspaper. Uh, I have two questions just to clarify the things you said about Mr. Uh, the Commissioner uh, Kurembom. Um, so, are you saying that his resignation and his, uh, or 
that he was forced to resign uh, maybe has to do with um, something that um, because of his work that he, that he was kind of, the accusation against him has to do with um, um, something from uh, maybe Israelis or American or whatever. What are you exactly saying regarding his resignation? Because that was not uh, clear. And regarding the Security Council, uh, are you planning to put uh, or to ask the uh, current president of the Security Council, the Br uh, British ambassador, to uh, work on um, uh, a press element to condemn the killing of the Palestinian family? Thank you. We are in contact with the international community, including the Security Council, to shoulder its responsibility. And we've sent uh, a message, a letter, you know, uh, uh, since the beginning of this aggression, uh, requesting from the Security Council, you know, to shoulder its responsibility. We will continue to, to work with the Security Council to rise up to the occasion and to shoulder its responsibility to condemn this, uh, this aggression to demand that it stops, and also that the Security Council to be involved in the process of the investigation over the uh, massacre of a, a whole family of eight individuals, and to bring those responsible from the Israeli side to face justice. With regard to the first question, I have no, n nothing more to add to what uh, Pierre Crumble said to, uh, I believe, a television station interview in which he said, if his principal position in the Security Council in defending the refugees of, and, and UNRWA was responsible for him losing his post, he said, I will take that as an, a badge of honor on my chest. It is a badge of honor on his chest. We have nothing more to add to what he said. He lost his post because he was a principal fighter for the Palestine refugee uh, question and for honor. One one question from this side. There is none. We'll come back to this side. Okay. Ali. Uh, sorry. You have to take more questions. Thank you, uh, Ambassador. Uh, obviously, uh, despite this uh, recognition by the international community by, through this vote, uh, the honor uh, uh, lacks the uh, sufficient funding, and there are talks that they might. Uh, be forced to quit or uh, stop some of its uh, services to the Palestinian refugees uh, inside the territories and uh, in the uh, hosting countries. So what is your message to the donors at this moment? I, I know that we were able to, together, all of us, to reduce the deficit this year to $80 million. And if a few countries who made pledges pay the money before the end of the year, and we expect them to do so, then we will succeed for the second year in a row in filling the gap resulting from the fact that the U.S. administration did not pay $300 million last year and did not pay a, a penny from the $365 million that they usually do. What does that mean? that the international community support politically UNRWA and the continuation of its mandate. The voting is a, a clear message to that effect. And the international community is rising up to the occasion and bridging the gap and providing UNRWA with the money to continue carrying its mandates. We are grateful for those who continue to donate to UNRWA, and we are grateful for those who renewed the, man the mandate of UNRWA for three more years in a large number of votes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ambassador. At the outset, uh, happy National Day uh, to yourself and thank the Palestinian you. people and your uh, team at the uh, Palestinian Observer Mission uh, to the United Nations. Uh, follow up on a Sam Azam question on uh, former Commissioner uh, Pierre Crumble. Uh, you said that uh, his dismissal, or he said, and you are affirming that, that was due to his position with the Palestinian refugees. Do you have any uh, comments on uh, uh, the, uh, his successor or the acting uh, commissioner, uh, Mr. Uh, Saunders? And in other uh, track related to the same topic, do you consider that having an international civil servant getting into a political fray between uh, Palestinian uh, side and the Israeli side 
Is that the way to go with the United Nations Organization? UNRWA is mandated by member states, funded by member states. So it is not really an, an, uh, a post, and the commissioner is not a post that is uh, subject to political uh, debating uh, on both sides. Just appreciate well, uh, your comment. With, with regard to uh, all uh, commissioner generals in the past, now, and in the future, including the acting one, we work with them very closely, and we appreciate their efforts and their work in this connection. The insinuation from the, your second part that UNRWA and its commissioner and others are involved in political issues, I reject that insinuation. Let, let me just finish. They do not get involved in political issues. Those who are politicizing these issues, those who denied the money to UNRWA, those who are trying to destroy UNRWA, those who are saying the refugee question should be removed from the table. It is the duty of any commissioner general on the basis of international law and the mandate given to him from the General Assembly to, to cater and to service the five and a half million Palestine refugees. They should be protected by all of us so that they can carry that mandate. They don't get involved in political issues. Some are trying to get them involved in political issues, and they don't, including Pierre Crumble. So therefore, I believe that all those who try to say that they are involved in political issues, and therefore UNRWA is part of the problem, not part of the solution, we reject it categorically, and we don't accept it. Yes, Abdul Hamid. Thank you, Abdul Hamid Siam from Al Quds Al Arabi. Mr. Ambassador, I raised the issue of Mladinov. There was a statement issued by the Foreign Ministry of Palestine, criticizing him for his statement, blaming the victim. He put the blame squarely on the Palestinian. Also, he, when he issued a statement about Sawarka family, he stopped short from condemning this heinous crime of eight members of a family sleeping and obliterating the whole family. He did not use the word condemn, and I kept raising that. What is your intake on that? We do not accept, you know, that the way that Mr. Mladenov articulated uh, his opinion and his position with regard to this latest aggression and also with regard to the death of the civilians. We hope that he would be guided by the position of the European Union, which we, uh, which we respect and grateful for when they said that we want a transparent investigation on the crime of, kitting, of killing the entire family of Sawarke and to bring those to face justice, meaning accountability. I believe that this is a lesson for Mr. Mladenov to, to, to follow that. His duty is to defend civilians from whomever is being, attacking them and to express condemnation against those who harm civilians and kill civilians. And I hope that that would be a lesson for him. And uh, I believe that uh, we will be looking very closely as to positions that he will articulate as we move forward. The last question. <laughs> يعني طبعا حاولتم في مجلس الأمن مرارا في السابق أن تخرجوا بموقف يؤدي إلى المحاسبة ولم يتم ذلك ألا تعتقد أن هناك حاجة الآن للمحاولة عبر السبل الأخرى لتحقيق المحاسبة نحن نحاول بكافة السبل من ضمنها نحن بعثنا ملفات ونبعث دائما ملفات إلى محكمة الجنايات الدولية والمحكمة تجرجر بأرجلها في التحقيق في الجرائم التي ارتكبت ضد الشعب الفلسطيني ولكننا نلاحقها ونضغط عليها للقيام بهذا الشيء هذا مثل وكذلك نحن نظرنا بتقدير عالي إلى المحكمة العليا للاتحاد الأوروبي التي طالبت مسائل معينة وسلوكا معينا إزاء الاستيطان على الذين يترددوا في اللجوء إلى حتى المحاكم الوطنية في ملاحقمة المجرمين الإسرائيليين الذين يرتكبوا هذه الجرائم ضد الإنسانية أن يتعلموا الدروس من الدول الأخرى من ضمنها الاتحاد الأوروبي نحن لن نتوقف عن طرق أبواب مجلس الأمن ليتحمل مسؤوليته ولن نتوقف عن طرق أبواب الجمعية العامة وكل المجالات المتاحة لنا سواء في المجتمع الدولي سياسيا أو قانونيا أو في المحافل القانونية المتعددة ومن ضمنها محكمة الجنايات الدولية هذا واجبنا 
وهذا ما نقوم به وهذا ما سنستمر بعمله من أجل إحلال العدالة للضحايا الذين يفتك بهم الاحتلال الإسرائيلي بطريقة همجية وبطريقة متناقضة مع القانون الدولي والقانون الدولي الإنساني ومتناقضة مع الأخلاق للبشر في كيفية التعاطي مع المدنيين وخاصة الأطفال أشكركم شكرا جزيلا Thank you and have a good day